Let's start with animal experimentation. Animal experimentation or animal research is the use of non-human animals in experiments. Research involving animals will contribute to present and future knowledge, which may eventually lead to the protection and improvement of the health and welfare of either humans or animals, which includes making animal models of diseases or conditions, investigation on how organisms behave, develop, and function, xenotransplantation research or transplanting tissues or organs from one species to another, as a way to overcome the shortage of human organs for use in organ transplants, studies on the process of formation and development of embryo and growth and development of animals, creating mutants by adding transposons into their genomes, or specific genes are deleted by gene targeting. Experiments into behavior, to understand how organisms detect and interact with each other and their environment. Breeding experiments to study, evolution and genetics, genetic modification of animals to study disease, treatment to animals so that it develops pathology and symptoms that resemble a human disease. Toxicology testing, which are used to examine finished products, such as pesticides, medications, food additives, packing materials, and air freshener, or their chemical ingredients, and lot more. Virtually every available medical treatment today has to some degree involved animal testing. Commonly used animals for testing are mice, shrimp, rats, fruit flies, guinea pig, round worms, or nematode worms, rabbits, amphibians and fish, like frogs and zebrafish, farm animals, cats, dogs, non-human primates like monkeys, apes baboons and chimpanzees. Let's look at the percent-wise usage of different species. Mice 59%, rats 18%, fish 9%, birds 6%, rabbits 3%, other rodents 2%, farm animals 1%, reptiles and amphibians 1%, cats and dogs, monkeys and prosimians, less than 1%. Let's look into the reasons why rats and mice make up to 80% of total animals experimented annually. Humans and rats are actually more alike than they are different. For one thing, we're both mammals and give birth to living young. We're both warm-blooded, and rats eat everything we do, and live where we live. We both control our body chemistry, using similar hormones, we both have nervous systems that work in the same way, and we both react similarly to infection and injury. Mice are widely considered to be the best model of inherited human disease and share 99% of their genes with humans. Their genetic, biological and behavior characteristics closely resemble those of humans. Rats and mice are mammals that share many processes with humans. Mice and rats are relatively inexpensive and can be bought in large quantities from commercial producers that breed rodents specifically for research. The rodents are also generally mild-tempered and docile, making them easy for researchers to handle, although some types of mice and rats can be more difficult to restrain than others. Mice and rats helps make the results of medical trials more uniform. Rodents also make efficient research animals because their anatomy, physiology and genetics are well understood by researchers, making it easier to tell what changes in the mice's behavior or characteristics are caused by. Scientists can now breed genetically altered mice called transgenic mice that carry genes that are similar to those that cause human diseases. Some examples of human disorders and diseases for which mice and rats are used as models include, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, respiratory problems, deafness, cancer, HIV and AIDS, heart disease, spinal cord injuries. All these advantages resulted in greater usage of mice and rat. All our videos are contributed by viewers like you. If you have any creative ideas or concepts, you can collaborate with us and earn up to 45% of our revenue. You could also make money if you have good video editing skills. For further details please visit link in the description box. If you like this video press like button, subscribe for future videos and if you have any suggestions leave them in comment box. Thank you for watching.